Exercise 10. The following list includes selected permanent accounts and all of the temporary accounts from the December 31, 2011 unadjusted trial balance of Yamiko Company, a business owned by Kumi Yamiko. Use these account balances along with the additional information to journalize the adjusting entries and closing entries, assuming a perpetual inventory system. In the additional information, we're told that accrued sales salaries amount to $1,700. The adjusting entry is a debit to sales salaries expense, $1,700, and a credit to salaries payable. Letter B, prepaid selling expenses of $1,800 have expired. The balance in prepaid selling expenses is currently $4,500, of which $1,800 has expired. The adjusting entry is a debit to selling expenses, $1,800, and a credit to prepaid selling expenses. A physical count of year-end merchandise inventory shows $30,902 of goods still available. The unadjusted trial balance shows a balance in merchandise inventory of $31,500. So the company has experienced some shrinkage, some unexplained erosion of the asset merchandise inventory. The journal entry to record shrinkage is a debit to cost of goods sold, $598, and a credit to merchandise inventory. The next step is to post these adjusting entries to our partial worksheet. The first adjusting entry debits sales salaries expense, $1,700, and credit salaries payable, which is not included in this partial list. The second adjusting entry debits selling expenses, $1,800, and credits prepaid selling expenses. In the third adjusting entry, debits cost of goods sold, $598, and credits merchandise inventory. As a result of these adjusting entries, our partial adjusted trial balance includes merchandise inventory, $30,902, prepaid selling expenses, $2,700, Yamiko withdrawals, $1,800, sales, $567,000, Sales returns and allowances, 21546 Sales discounts, 6033 Cost of goods sold, 279562 Sales salaries expense, $64,070 Utilities expense, 18144 Selling expenses, 50562 And administrative expenses, 125307 since we're told that this list includes all of the temporary accounts, we know that we have all of the revenue, expense accounts, and withdrawal account. We extend the revenue and expense balances to the income statement. Sales, 567000 Our two contra-revenue accounts, sales returns and allowances, and sales discounts. And the five expense accounts, cost of goods sold, sales salaries expense, utilities expense, selling expenses, and administrative expenses. $565,224 in debits to the income statement and $567,000 in credits to the income statement. Since the credits, the increases donor's equity, exceed the debits, the decreases donor's equity, we know that the company has net income equal to the difference $1,776. We use the income statement columns to prepare some of our closing entries. The first closing entry closes the revenues to income summary. Looking at our worksheet, we have total credits to the income statement equal to 567,000. Debit sales and credit income summary. The next step is to close the debits to income summary. Now the reason it doesn't just say close the expenses to income summary is when we look at the worksheet, the debit column includes not only our five expenses, but also the contra revenue accounts. So we're closing the contra revenues and the expenses, all of which resulted in debits or decreases to owner's equity in a single closing entry. The closing entry credits the two contra revenue accounts and credits each of the expense accounts. And debits income summary for the total, 565,224, which agrees with the debit column on our worksheet. The next step is to close income summary to capital. Debit income summary, 1776 and credit Yamiko Capital for 1776 And the final closing entry closes the withdrawal account to capital.
The balance in the withdrawal account is currently a debit balance of $1,800. To close the withdrawals, debit Yumiko Capital and credit the withdrawal account.